Guys, I want to talk to the State Central Committee. I've heard from many of you in the days since the attack on the Capitol, threatening another censure for what I said about the president's lies after the election. As a friend and fellow Republican, I want to shoot straight. I'm not going to spend any time trying to talk you out of another censure. I listen to Nebraskans every day, and very few of them are as angry about life as some of the people on this committee. Not all of you, but a lot. Political addicts don't represent most Nebraska conservatives. When Melissa and I first ran back in 14, we spoke with hundreds of thousands across this gorgeous state, and we promised to speak out when our leaders, not just Democrats, but any leader in either party, crossed the line. We pledged to put the Constitution ahead of party politics. You gave me standing ovations. My election night speech, the first time I ever ran for or got elected to anything, was a simple promise that I would always vote my conscience, even if it might be against the partisan stream. You cheered. But many of the same party officials who applauded in 14 cussed me out in 16 when I refused to vote for candidate Trump. And again, when I declined to serve on his reelection committee in 19, and again, when I didn't vote for him in 20. Now, many of you are hacked off that I condemned his lies that led to a riot. Let's be clear. The anger in the state party has never been about me violating principle or abandoning conservative policy. I'm one of the most conservative voters in the Senate. The anger has always been simply about me not bending the knee to one guy. But my disagreements with President Trump have never been personal. They've always been about genuine affection for the constitutional order, something every American, regardless of party, should share. January 6th is going to leave a scar. For 220 years, one of the most beautiful things about America has been our peaceful transfer of power. But what Americans saw three weeks ago was ugly. Shameful mob violence to disrupt a constitutionally mandated meeting of the Congress to affirm that peaceful transfer of power. It happened because the president lied to you. He lied about the election results for 60 days, despite losing 60 straight court challenges, many of them handed down by wonderful Trump-appointed judges. He lied by saying that the vice president could just violate his constitutional oath and declare a new winner. That wasn't true. He then riled a mob that attacked the Capitol, many chanting, hang Pence. If that president were a Democrat, we both know how you'd respond. But because he had Republican behind his name, you're defending him. Something has definitely changed over the last four years, but it's not me. Personality cults aren't conservative. Conspiracy theories aren't conservative. Lying that an election has been stolen It's not conservative. Acting like politics is a religion, it isn't conservative. I still believe every word from the campaign trail. What makes America great isn't power politics. It's what happens in the communities where you and I are raising our kids. Happily, most Nebraskans still believe that too. I think that's why Nebraskans just gave our campaign tens of thousands more votes than President Trump got in our state. It's why our campaign just set all-time vote count records in both the primary and general elections, despite being primaried last year for not being Trumpy. All-time most votes for any candidate in Nebraska history. And look at Omaha, which he lost by a lot, and we won handily. Why? I think the reason's simple. Nebraskans aren't rage addicts, and that's good news. You are welcome to censure me again, but let's be clear about why this is happening. It's because I still believe, as you used to, that politics isn't about the weird worship of one dude. The party could purge Trump skeptics, but I'd like to convince you that not only is that civic cancer for the nation, it's just terrible for our party. But either way, I'm going to keep doing what I promised. We still agree on some big things. Rule of law, constitutionalism, limited government, unlimited human potential, extending the American dream to more of our brothers and sisters. We can lead again, but only if our party is willing to change. We're going to have to choose between conservatism and madness, between just trolling versus actually persuading the rising generation of Americans again. That's what I'm focused on, and I sincerely hope that many of you will join in celebrating these big, worthy causes for freedom. Look, 
I know I won't always get it right. I make a bunch of mistakes, but I'm always going to work hard for Nebraskans and I'm always going to tell you the truth. Thanks for listening.